Hi folks, I just made a video about American Witch Hunt and then some clever atheist to put put uh, the First Amendment, okay? And read it, study it. Okay, let me tell you something. The, p the only people who brought the First Amendment is you atheists, alright? You atheists have set up your religion of atheism as the number one religion of America. So if anybody's brought the First Amendment it's you atheist, alright? You're the ones that brought the First Amendment. You're the one who is uh, taking over America and destroying America with your evil doctrine of hardcore atheism. And then using the First Amendment against Christians if Christians want to just have free speech and tell tell people about their beliefs in, in, in public office and public life. Okay? Everybody in America can have their beliefs, alright? That, that's the American way. We, we all agree with that, okay? And anybody has free speech. And if a general or a politician wants to say they believe in Jesus Christ, they have a right to do so. And by the way, America is a Christian nation, all right? Everybody is equal, but America is a Christian nation, has always been a Christian nation. The American Constitution was written by Christians. Even the deists were influenced by Christians, okay? and so at the end of the day the first amendment okay is based on christian principles all right so you get a grip atheist you're the ones that have broke uh, the um, the first amendment because you are the ones that have set yourselves up as the leaders of american all right and you're not the leaders of america christianity is the leader of america it's the basis of the constitution and the first amendment uh, is there to make everybody equal, everybody fair, but at the end of the day it was based on Christian principles and you're interpreting it, interpreting it to secularize America under your evil atheism, hardcore atheism. That's what it is, okay? Everybody's equal. All religions are equal, but at the end of the day America was based on Christianity America is a Christian nation and it will always be a Christian nation okay it's not contradictory alright the Christian faith provides the freedom for everybody's religion alright so it's not contradictory if you don't have a Christian principle of respect and love you won't have a first amendment you'll have anarchy alright it's as simple as that your secularism will just be uh, as is becoming the the throne of America and it's silencing free speech it's silencing uh, real freedom of religion that's what your secularism is doing and your atheism and the two are two are two together okay now you can say oh I'm confused and all whatever but at the end of the day atheist you are the ones that are broken the First Amendment because you are the ones that are setting up your system to control America and you are the ones going around doing the witch hunts not Christians but you okay you're the one who does the witch hunts on people who want to teach Christ intelligent design you are the ones going around persecuting Christian generals who, who want to share their faith you're the ones who are going persecuting film stars or or uh, sports stars who say the Christian and, and, and wanna say that the Christians you're the ones that are doing it atheist you're the ones that are doing it hardcore atheist alright you're the one that is, is slowly turning America into some kind of sick sadistic witch hunt early communist country alright and it's only Christianity that has provided the freedom for the, for the first amendment to actually be uh, legitimate for everybody else if Christianity goes in America freedom will go in America the First Amendment will go if you think your secularism is going to hold up the First Amendment you must be joking alright in the French Revolution they used your ideas and the French Revolution turned into anarchy why didn't uh, it turn into anarchy uh, in, when the Constitution was set up in, in America I tell you why because it was founded on Christian principles that's why okay we hold these truths self-evident why because they were given by God checkmate atheist so get your dirty hands off the American Constitution get your dirty hands uh, off control of of the American 
of, of the American people and stop your dirty witch hunts and allow people their freedoms, true freedom, true respect, true dignity. That's what America needs at this time so that she will continue to be a great nation and continue to uphold freedom around the world. God bless America. God bless the Christian people and God bless every other religious person and every other secularist and atheist in America because freedom is precious and is held up because people believed in Christ in the day when that constitution was set up. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm sorry about that. But the hypocrisy of these atheists who say, read the, Amer read the First Amendment when they're the ones that are breaking it every day, attacking Christianity every day they have set up they are trying to set up a state that persecutes people witch hunts religious people this is what these atheists are trying to do hardcore atheists and they have the cheek to sell christian generals who stand up for their faith they have the cheek to say that these people have broken the first amendment when these people these hardcore atheists and secular do-gooders go around attacking and, and witch hunting Christian generals, scientists who want to study intelligent design, losing their jobs and they have the temerity to tell us that Christianity is breaking the first amendment these people who go around witch hunting all the time it's disgraceful I'm sorry I'm just passionate about it the first amendment wouldn't be the First Amendment if it weren't for Christianity that provided the foundation so that people could actually have freedom of religion. Okay? You can still have um, a state that is fair to everybody, but a nation, the state as in the controlling apparatus, but the nation as known as a God fearing nation under God. That's what the founding fathers were thinking, all right? But they always thought that America was a nation under God. And you have secularized the, the uh, American Constitution. That's what you've done, secularists. You've taken out of its Christian context, all right? Sorry, I'm passionate about it. I'm I, I'm just so passionate about it. I'm so passionate because I'm just fed up of these hardcore atheists, witch hunting Christians, hounding Christians all over America, in schools, taking taking Christian who who are teachers to to court because they want to teach intelligent design, taking generals on, pushing generals down, pushing politicians down, pushing pushing uh, famous um, sports stars down all because they, they speak out and say they believe in Jesus and these disgusting hardcore atheists have the cheek to go around telling the, um, the American people that, that these generals and sports stars and Christians are breaking the First Amendment when you've got a religion of uh, a secular religion promoted by these people when you can have gay pride marches all around uh, in New York and have uh, and, and gay pride marches all over the place and, and police officers marching with them identifying with them and they say that, that they're not promoting a, a particular belief when they're promoting uh, the religion of gay rights and the religion of secularism and you breaking the First Amendment, and then you have the cheek to say that Christianity is... No, what it is, you, you don't want righteousness and goodness and holiness and purity. You don't want Christ promoted in America. You hate Christ, you hate the Christian religion, and you want to destroy the Christian religion. You don't, you don't care about the First Amendment, you just want to destroy Christianity. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just hypocrisy. I hate hypocrisy, and you're a bunch of hypocrites, hardcore atheist. I know what you say. I know what you say. Oh, oh, look at him, look at him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I made a video about the American generals being persecuted, and some smarmy, clever, wise crack atheist said, "Read the Constitution and study it of the First Amendment." 
Well, I looked at the First Amendment and I know the history of how the American Constitution was written. And I, I know I've said this before and I, I've said it twice before, but there is a religion that is promoted in America and it's called secularism buttressed by hardcore atheists like Sam Harris. And they have taken control or are taking control of America and they are breaking the First Amendment. Okay? You are not protectors of freedom because you want to destroy the freedom of Christianity in America. And the American Constitution was based on Christian principles. Okay? So. God bless America. I've tired myself out after all that. I just sick to death. Sick to death of the persecution that these atheist, hardcore atheists are doing to us. I'm sick to death of it. I'm sick to death of them pushing us around. I'm sick to death and I'm not going to be pushed around anymore. I'm not going to be pushed around and you're not pushing us around anymore, atheists. America is not a high priest secular state America is a Christian country will always be a Christian country but it doesn't promote just one faith it's equal for everybody because it believes in respect and love for everybody that's America America is not a secularist nut job hardcore atheist institution run by hardcore atheists who won't give anybody any rights and who does witch hunts on everybody that's not America that's a sick sick caricature of the real America the America that was great the America that helped us to win the Second World War the America that stood with the Brits that's the America that I believe in that's the America that I will fight for and fight with but I will not stand with these hardcore atheists and their persecution of our Christian people and religious people in America today. I have a fire in my bones to protect true democracy and you hardcore atheists wouldn't know what true democracy is if it kissed you on the lips. So God bless you. So be careful what you say to me atheist because the wrath of Burns just came today because of some silly idiot saying read the American Constitution, read read the First Amendment well I read the First Amendment and it's uh, twisted by you crazy dudes the moral of the story is don't let these hardcore atheists push us down no more don't let them do it don't let them do it stand up stand up even if they put you in prison stand up we can't let them win anymore we have to stand up against them we have to stand up just stand up against them and say we're not having it we're not having it fight them in a, in, in in when i mean fight them fight them in a in a christian way but fight them don't give in to them and don't put up with their nonsense stand up that's what i'm going to do i'm standing up I'm not being put down by these hardcore crazy people who, who've hijacked the American Constitution. Stand up! Because if you don't stand up, America will be a fourth class nation. She'll be a fourth class nation. If you don't stand up, she'll end up becoming like Britain. Britain has just gone downhill because it became godless. So don't let America go the way Britain went. you got to make a stand, Christians in America. You've got to make a stand. So stand up and be strong. Do it lovingly and graciously, but do it with vigour and strength and boldness. And don't let them win. Alright? And even if we go down, at least we went down fighting. God bless you. This is Jay from Coming Out of Atheism. And uh, I'm trying to relax. But I can't help it. It's in my bones to defend the rights of Christian people around the world and to defend the American Constitution from these hardcore 
communists. Take care. God